Hi guys. Sorry, my name is uh, my name is Torsten. Thanks for stopping by Torsten's Terrariums today. This is Simba, my uh, crested gecko, and let's get right into it. So today we're going to be talking about the Oplerus quadrimamacalatus, which is the Madagascar spiny-tailed iguana. Now this little guy is amazing. He looks like a dragon. He has an insane tail. And mine is female. Her name is Pineapple. And she is amazing. I decided to make this video because I haven't been able to find a care guide on this exact species. Now, these guys um, love a humidity of just around 60% a basking temperature of 105 degrees Fahrenheit and an ambient tank temperature of anywhere from 78 to 85 degrees. So these guys do like it kind of hot and somewhat humid for how hot it's going to be. So I currently, I'll skip to the, to the photo, I have a th three foot by one foot by one foot enclosure with just a snake plant in there. Um, she does trample plants, so if you're going to be putting fragile plants in there, I warn you, uh, she's knocked out a couple of my plants already. Other than that, um, she doesn't really like being held. Um, I'm still working on her. She is still a juvenile. I don't want you jumping. You're scaring me. Come here. She is very fast, pineapple, and... Um, I don't usually handle her all that much, but we've been working on it, building a relationship. Now, some people might ask, why would I want one of these spiny-tailed iguanas? Well, first of all, they are insane looking. They just have this different tail that no one's ever seen, and they love eating. I'll skip picture her crushing a cricket right here. Just super cool animals very active always cruising around they do like to take baths so keep a big enough water dish for them to take baths and oh here she comes right now um she i think she sees uh simba she wants to uh to make friends with him i believe pineapple how are you doing you're not digging holes today just this one and you're making a mess of your water bowl again a little crazy other than that these guys are super cool little spiny tailed iguanas they as far as rarity on how often you can get them where to get them check at your local reptile store petco and pet smart and all those big name reptile companies will never have these guys so if you have a local reptile shop i would check around there on where to get them and how to get them. I suggest getting captive bred um, because wild caught can carry parasites, um, sort of diseases, nothing that you can really get harmed by, but they will have a shorter lifespan because of that. These guys do not drop their tail. They do drop their tails, but it's very hard for them to drop their tails. And if they do, they will grow back, but without the spines, which is one of their biggest features. So be careful when handling these guys. Um, other than that, I believe that's about it. They are not arboreal. They are on the ground, but they will climb on top of branches and stuff that you give them. Sorry guys, I realized I forgot to uh, add something kind of important. A uh, diet. Mealworms, dubia roaches, and crickets all work amazing. And let me grab this real quick. This is what you gotta use, of course. Across the reptile community, this is one of the best things to use. Rapashi, Superfood, Calcium Plus. This is not sponsored, by the way. Just heads up. Cool. Here's a clip of her eating. It's awesome. Here, girl. Come on, get it.
Good girl. Cool guys, thank you for stopping by. If you have any other questions about these little guys, um, please ask them in the comments section. Oh, one more thing. She likes to dig holes. I don't know if that's her thing or if that's a, a thing uh, that all of them do, but she gets kind of crazy sometimes, starts digging holes and making a mess of the enclosure. So I might have to uh, get a little different substrate. Maybe she doesn't like the jungle mix. All right, cool, cool guys. Thanks for stopping by. Somebody you want to say bye? Wanna say bye? Bye.